Hello and welcome. We have free graphics cards here and we're gonna put them inside the computers, of which we also have free. We have one AMD, or maybe it was even an ATI back then. We got two NVIDIA cards, one GTX uh, 750 Ti and one 970. Here are the computers. We got all kinds of cases. So let's start putting them in. Hey, before you start, why don't you turn off the power and disconnect the power cable? Do yourself a favor, maybe get less shocked and also not get your hardware shocked. That graphics card was expensive, wasn't it? Here we are. This is where the AMD or ATI card will go in. Not old enough for AGP, don't worry about that. We're gonna have to connect these pins to this panel. It's usually easy to spot by having a little uh, lever to stabilize graphics cards. If it's a cheap case or doesn't have enough space, it's ideal if you have the hard drives installed already because sometimes the graphics card will block taking these out or putting them in. And we can just go ahead and start. Make sure you don't uh, trap any cables. Pay attention to the back over there so you don't uh, scratch the main board. And you can just push it in and you will hear a click usually from this lever over there. And now you have to stabilize it. You have to put in some screws, unless the system has some other mechanism for that. But this one is an old and cheap case. So ideally you have a magnetic screwdriver, put it on, stabilize the, uh, the card with one hand, and the screwdriver as well. All right, and make it nice and tight. Huh, this is kind of loose. Yeah, old and cheap case is all I can say. All right, at least the top one is stable. So that's it, and this is a rather weak graphics card, it consumes not much energy, R7750 I think, and uh, it doesn't need any additional power, so that is all you have to do for this graphics card. We're gonna continue with our most powerful one. The system can actually hold multiple. You can again tell the PCIe free slots over here with the levers. In this case it also has the label PCI Express free. And here is the card. I'm gonna connect these things to there and not these ones. These are if you have multiple of the same. And this is for additional power, so that's important, because this one consumes more. It, this is the GeForce GTX 970. So we're gonna just put it in carefully again, try not to scratch the main board. And we can just kind of push it in. Click. That's it. Now we just gotta screw it in. Oh, these ones seem to be could do it by hand, but then you don't get to see anything. Okay. Okay, that is stable. And we're putting in the second one. That is it. Right, that's it for screwing it in, and now we just need to connect the additional power. And depending on the model, the additional power connectors can be here on the side, sometimes they can be on the back. Just check the manual or just look at the card. And uh, yeah, for this one you need to have a power supply that actually provides these, because not every power supply does. For example, this cheapo power supply has none of these cables that you need for a more powerful graphics card. So these are three by two, twice. Here we have one cable and here we have a second. You need to kind of figure out uh, which goes where. There's a lever to stabilize it. You can push it open if you want it to go in easier, but this is actually for taking it out. So here we go, first one is in. And second one. Is in as well. That's it. These additional ones are for even more powerful graphics cards that need even more power. All right, let's go to the final system. This one 
we will have uh, the 750Ti in. And once again, this will connect to the PCIe. And this one has a lock, kind of, so make sure that one's open. Try not to touch it by the fan. Don't scratch the motherboard. All right, all that's left is to stabilize it on the left. Just gotta put these screws in. Actually, this is a different kind of uh, case. Very compact, so if you want to connect these, you've got to do that outside. There's actually a panel you can put on top of this, but it doesn't really work well, so I'm just using it, uh, doing it the old-fashioned style. Just screwing it in, hole by hole. Except this one doesn't fit. Maybe this one? Looking better. Yeah, this one is a lot of work. <clears throat> All right, we got it in there. Gonna find another screw and stabilize it twice, but that's basically it. That's how you put in a graphics card. So I hope this little basic tutorial helped. Make sure to subscribe to support this channel and I'll see you next time. Until then, ciao!